Hey, Hotshots, Jess with Emotional Fire Academy here today to talk about how we stand up for ourselves by not reacting. Welcome to Emotional Fire Academy. This is the channel where we talk about tactical mindfulness so that we can live an epic life, get epic results in life and be more in control of our outcomes for things. Welcome, I'm Jess, I'm glad to have you. Um, so when we react to something, essentially we, we perpetuate the situation. Now, in general, this is really, I'm talking more about situations that involve relationships, right? People, people at work, family members, partners, friends, you know, this is really, really appropriate and relevant in regards to relationships. And we do this because when we react to something, right? We react, we react it. We, we go into the spiral, right? We're giving it energy. We're giving it thoughts. We're giving this problem with this person or how they treated us or, or whatever it is or what they said. We're giving it lots and lots of attention and energy. And when we do that, we kind of create the spiral of realness, right? The more we react and get into whatever it is, the situation, the more real it becomes to us, right? We start, when we invest thought energy and attention, which is our physiological energy, right? Where we're directing our senses, we start to invest in this situation more and more and more, and it becomes more and more and more real to us that we just like dig our heels in. And then it starts to affect our behavior where we actually go into, you know, subconscious, unconscious programs through the reaction of things that we've done in the past. So we'll often lapse into behaviors we did in the past and we, we lose our conscious awareness of what we're doing. We lose our ability to decide to choose something different because we're going into the, that reaction. It's very real. The situation is real. We're playing it out. We're digging in. We're investing. And as we do that, we are going into whatever old patterns we typically do during that reaction, right? And they may even amplify because, you know, when we go into a reaction, you notice it's, it takes more and more reaction to get the same payoff. So we'll act even angrier than before. We'll act, you know, it'll, it'll escalate. We find that it escalates. And it's almost like we're not even in control of our own behavior, right? So how do we actually stand up for ourselves in this situation? Um, apathy <laughs> is something, and it's an art. It's an art that we all get to practice because uh, it's easier said than done, right? Reactions feel reactionary for a reason. We just go into them. We go into the pattern. We get upset by what someone said to us, and then they just play out. It feels like we lose our power. You know, it just plays out. How we start to practice, you know, staying centered and grounded and more practicing more apathy. I use the word apathy, but really it's consciously choosing not to go into old patterns of reactions with someone. Because, and this is how we start to really stand up for ourselves because the pattern in the past hasn't really gotten us the outcome we want, right? We can keep reacting to someone in the same way. They can keep upsetting us, but we really want something different. You know, we're reacting from a place of really, really, really wanting something different with this person, a different experience, a different outcome. So in order to do that, we have to become almost apathetic to that old pattern. And that's how we stand up for ourselves. That's how we choose then something new, something new uh, by not investing that time and energy and attention into, yes, this is real. This is real. You know, it's spiraling down and starting to take control of us. So, so how do we do this? We do this by reframing, right? Telling a different story, change the story, change what the story is with this person. You know, as of today, whatever they can, you know, they can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want that their behavior is not something that is going to affect me any longer. I like to look at the person, their situation as in a river, right? And this is, this situation is a rock, not a dam, a rock, not a dam. That image of 
you are the water. You're just flowing around it. You're like, they can do what they want. They can say what they want. You're going to flow around it. You're going to flow around it. It's not a dam. We're not stopping and stagnating and starting to spiral into that energy, into that old reaction. Because this is how, you know, removing power from the situation, from the other person's point of view, their opinion, their behavior, whatever it is they're doing that is upsetting us, making us, you know, causing a reaction in us, is how we start to stand up for ourselves. We start to take that power back. Because apathy, if you've ever encountered anyone who's totally apathetic to when you are trying to communicate with them, it's almost like they're not playing the game, right? You realize that, wow, this person just, they don't care. And it is, it's immediately very disempowering to the other person. It removes the power because they're not playing along. They're not like, I'm not even engaging in this. This isn't even worth my time. And so that's a very, very powerful position to take. And that really keeps us in our own, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing. I am, I'm not going to be bothered by this, you know? So the two things we do, we reframe, we tell a different story and legitimately believe it. And then where are we directing our attention? We immediately remove attention from that person, from that situation. And we're like, you know what? I'm going to direct my attention elsewhere. Because those are the two most powerful faculties we have. So direct our attention to the things that matter to us, to what we really want in that situation. Maybe we want love from that person. Maybe we want validation. Maybe we want, you know, the reaction is coming from a deep need, a deep desire for something, a certain outcome, a certain quality that we're looking for. We, and so go find that, flow around them <laughs> like the river, and find it downstream in something else. You know, we can validate ourselves. We can stand up for our, you know, we can tell ourselves, you know, it doesn't matter what they think. I think I'm awesome. I think I'm amazing. I think I'm lovable, worthy, competent, whatever it is, whatever they have triggered in you to make you believe otherwise. Go find it downstream. Find another source for that deep need that isn't being filled downstream. And then that removes the power from them as being the only source of that validation, whatever it is you're looking from them. Respect, you know, if they're, if they're being cruel or unkind or saying things that we don't like, remove attention from them completely, you know, and put it somewhere else. And yeah, this is how, and it's okay. If you've already reacted to the situation, it's okay. Just remember that the more, the deeper you get into it, the more time, thought energy and the more attention you put into that spiral of this is real, it has to be dealt with, it's a problem, it has to be dealt with. You're just feeding into the realness of that. The minute you remove attention and the story, you change the story, it's like it doesn't really matter what they're doing, I'm going to go do something else. There's another solution to this. This is a rock, not a dam. And you go focus your attention somewhere else, you, you take back all of that energy literal, physical, mental energy from that situation and put it into consciously moving in a different direction, you're going to find that situation is going to shift in a lot of ways, in a manifestational way, in a practical way, in a, you're going to get relief. You're going to be like, not worrying about this right now. I'm going to go find those things down river. I'm going to get them down river or generate them for myself, remind myself what I really need and attend to that need and meet those needs for ourselves through another vessel that probably is healthier, happier, more willing to, to give us that, you know? Um, so I hope that helped. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.